Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is a topic that I've been wanting to cover again for a little while now, which is 360 videos specifically on the Oculus Quest. Been getting a lot of questions about it and even had some stuff pop up in the Discord asking about this. So I thought we'd take this chance to get it set up and show you how I get it working on mine. So the first thing we're gonna do is download a 360 video. I don't have any from myself, so I'm gonna download this free asset, which I'll link in the description, or from Metal. So we're just gonna use this one because it's a good length, it's got audio, and it's 360, it's exactly what we need. So just gonna hit download. We'll choose what we want. If it lets us, we're gonna choose 4K. So we'll do Ultra HD 4K, and then we'll go from there. So you can see the file size is pretty big. I'm gonna do this on purpose. So I can show you how fast stuff loads. So we'll do we'll do 360 video and then we'll do metal for the person's video. So I'll also link this in the description if you guys want to download it yourself to try it out. But we're going to make sure that it's got no spaces and it's MP4. It can be .mov, so you don't have to worry about this too much. But we're just going to save this to our downloads folder. Hit save. And I'm going to show this in folder because I'm going to copy this in a second. And now in Unreal, I'm just gonna use my template project. And what we need to do is create a folder in our contents folder. It can't be inside another one. It's gotta be on its own. And it's gonna be called movies. So we're gonna do a new folder, call it movies. Make sure it's got a capital M and spelt the same way. And we're gonna right click, show an explorer. And this opens up our window. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our video that we just downloaded into here. And then when we import it, we're actually going to port, import the one from our movies folder. So if we open up movies, I'm going to go import. And then we'll go to our movies folder. You can see the video there. Going to hit open. And now we can double click this and we're going to change some stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this drop down and we're going to go pre cache file. What this will do is it'll load it into memory so we can play as soon as possible. And then we're going to go to Android and we're going to select Android Media. The next thing we need to do is copy this directive. So where our file is, I've just done Control C, I'm going to hit save. And now what we need to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, and go to our packaging. And in here, we need to add a specific movies to package. And we're just going to hit the plus. And this is where we can paste in our video. With that all done, we should be good to go, actually. And we can right click. We can go media. And we're going to create a media player. So I'm going to do video output media texture. And then in here, I'm going to call it MP for media player. 360 video metal. And now we can actually open this up after you see it's created a media texture. And in here, we're just going to double click our 360 video metal so we can see it load in. Hit save. And we don't need to change anything in here, so we'll be all right. And now in the texture, we're going to open this up. And what we want to do is we want to set our compression settings to use interface. And what that'll do is it'll remove any mipmaps or anything like that. It should make it a little bit sharper. And you can also reduce the total number of mipmaps to output to zero. And you see it goes black. We can ignore that because if we go back to our video metal and we just double click the link again, you'll see that once it's appeared, it shows up in our texture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do file save all just to make sure we've got everything. And then I can right click and we can do material. I'm going to call this M underscore 360 video metal. And we're going to hit enter and we're going to open this up now and what we can do is we can drag in the media texture that we created or that unreal created for us and before we plug this in we're actually going to select in the graph and we're going to change our default light or default shading model to unlit and we're also going to use two-sided cool so you can see we've got reduced instructions but it should look pretty good. And now we can plug the RGB value into emissive. And we can hit apply. And then save. So now we need to set up another level. So this is how I normally do it. I've got a save or I've got a screen fade system set into this. So once we hit a button, 
we're going to fade out and then we'll fade back in immediately to a new level which has our 360 video in it so the first thing i'm going to do is going to go to blueprints we'll create a new folder called level load button or load level button and this is just going to be a normal blueprint so blueprint class actor bp underscore load level button and i'm going to double click this go to our actually we'll go to add components and we'll do a cube so we're just going to use the collision on this so when i hit it with the controller on the quest we just fade out and then we load back in going to use begin overlap and then we drag off open level and then we can actually promote this to a variable so level to open and because we want this to fade out we can actually get a reference to player controller and then do a fade to black if you don't have this then i'll link to the video showing you how to set this all up it's pretty simple all it is a blueprint interface which is inside my player pawn so when i so when i call the event it actually sets up a screen fade which works for the desktop and the quest so that's all we're really doing and now i can actually type in our level in here if we make it public so compile and save and now in our motion controller map if i bring in that load level button we'll create it, make it huge you can see i can actually load the level we don't currently have one so i'm going to make one after i set load level so we've got open 360 video open 360 video example we'll leave that there hit compile and save and now we need our level that we're going to show the that we're going to use to show our video so I've got a maps folder. I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a new map. I'm going to call it M underscore. Actually, I'm going to call it 360 video metal because we might end up having more of these. So I can then open this up. So I can then copy. So if I go to rename, copy the name, we can actually plug it into the box and then we can load this. We can load this level up. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a little floor for our person to stand on. So I'm just going to use a box for this and I'm going to center it to world. And I'm going to scale it down a little bit. This is okay though, because we're not going to actually see it in the engine. So if I do unlit, and then we're going to use a player start. So I have a game mode set up, which is going to be in the level. we will go to custom game mode. With our player start selected, we're just going to make sure it's auto receive zero. And we're going to try and make sure this is world zero as close as possible so now what we can do is if we bring in a directional light we should actually be able to test our level and then we can see our hands and the floor which is exactly what we want for this point so next thing to do is to set our floor as actor hidden in game so it's just here when you select the mesh and it's save lit and i want to make sure that our level loads correctly before putting the video in just so we're not worried about it too much so i'm going to go back to my motion controller map and i'm just going to test this to make sure we actually fade out and then fade into the new scene so we touch it we fade in we can see our hands excellent so now if you open up our 360 video we know that we can actually spawn into here. The first thing we need to do is actually set up a blueprint. And the reason I'm going to put everything in a blueprint is because we want to use a media audio component, I believe it's called. And there isn't actually one in the scene that we can drag and drop in. So I'm just going to go back to my movies folder. And I'm actually going to create a new blueprint class called actor. And then BP underscore 360 movie. And then we can open this up. And we want to add a sphere as well as a audio as well as a media sound you can see now with our media sound selected we can actually choose our media to play so we're going to do 
our 360 video. You could do mono, stereo, or surround. I'm just going to leave it for stereo for now. And that should actually be it for our blueprint class. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into the scene. And I'm going to scale it up. Let's do about 200. Excellent. So it should be should be black because we're inside the sphere. If you're using the base sphere that you can see that we are doing here, you will need to open it up and then delete the collision. So go to collision and then remove. I've already done it on this one, but I recommend using your own sphere, essentially, or 3D mesh if you've got one. That in the scene, we can actually now set up our level blueprint to load the movie. So we're going to go to blueprints, going to go to open level blueprint, and we're going to delete our on tick. And before we add anything to our begin play, we want to create a new variable. We're going to call this 360 movie. And we're going to select the little bool icon and we're going to search media. And what we're looking for is a little TV. It says media player, object reference. And we're going to hit compile. And we can actually make this public. Actually, no. And we're actually going to go to 360 movie on the right. And we're going to select our media to play. Next step is to drag in a reference, do a get. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for source. And you can see that we get a couple of options here. We've got can play source, open source, open source latent, or open source with options. What I normally do is actually use the open source latent for the, the quest, because what that does is it gives us a complete. So once the video is loaded, even though we're pre-caching it, we can then choose when to press play, essentially. So from our media source, we're going to select our 360 video. I'm going to right click on our options. I'm going to split. And I'm actually going to choose options to play on open as disable and options loop disable because we're going to choose when to play this. And I'm actually going to play this after our fa screen fades back in. So if I do get player controller, and then search fade. I can do fade to scene. And I know my screen fade is 0.2 seconds long, so I'm going to do a delay for 0.2 seconds. And then dragging off the 360 video, we can just search play and we can hit complete. Compile and save. And I'm just going to make sure that in my blueprints, I actually set the material. So in our sphere or our blueprint sphere, we need to set the material to our movie. So in such movie, that's 360. We're going to apply this, hit compile and save. And now if we jump into our scene and we simulate, you can see we can actually see the video all around us, which is exactly what we're after. If I preview it, you can see we can look around, we can see everything. So now what we need to do is just build this to the headset. So we do file, save all. I'm going to make sure I haven't missed anything. We don't really have a way to return back to the level once we've done it, but this should be good enough now. And I just want to make sure in edit project settings, so I don't forget, we actually have our level. So I didn't add that. So we're going to choose our new, our new 360 video map to make sure it's included. So at this stage in the build, if you actually built the headset, you'll see that the audio would play, but the video would stay black. And what we're going to do now is to get the video to show up, we're actually going to create a media, so a platform media source. And um, platform media source, so PMS, which is not a very good name, 360 video, and we'll call it metal. And we're just going to hit it. And in here, we're going to open it up, and we're going to set this to our file media source, hit compile and save. And now you should actually be able to just build this to the headset and it should play straight away. So I'm going to make sure the floor is set to hidden. I do a save. I'll do a build. So you can see that it says large actor receives pre shadows, which will cause extreme performance hit unless cast shadows are set to false. So that's because our sphere inside our blueprint is so big. We just need to go in there and then disable cast shadows, compile and save. Nothing will actually change, but we'll be able to build build the lighting without it actually telling us off, which is pretty good. Excellent. And now we can actually do the last build. We're going to go file, project launcher, Android STC, and then by the book, and we're going to hit launch. 
And then once this is done, we can jump into the headset and we should be able to actually interact with the cube and load this level. So I'm actually in the quest now. So we can see the actual template. We have both hands. We can actually move over to our big button that we have placed in the scene. When we touch it, we immediately load into the new level. And you can see that we can actually see the 360 video. I don't think you guys can hear it, but there is audio coming through. And we can look around and still rotate and move. So the thing is now, if you wanted to go back to your level, you could just create a UI button, maybe an interactable one, or even use a delay to open the level and then go back once the video is finished. It's kind of up to you how you want to do it, but this is normally how I do it. It's just a little bit easier. So yeah. So hopefully this video helped you guys out getting a 360 video onto a headset. I've actually been able to do this with a video up to 12 minutes long, which is quite surprising and it loads almost immediately. So if this helped, please leave a like. It does help everybody else find the videos, uh, maybe share them as well. But if not, just subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the others. And maybe check out the Discord, which is linked in the middle of the screen there and in the description. So until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.